Got your boy Joey Cassano right here. I got my boy Micah Barty back again with me. We're with the winningwagers.com. We had to meet up today because we had a great, wonderful day Big in the day. office. Yes, beautiful. We 3-0-1. Oh, we got juiced on the Idaho Three, game. Zero, Bowling zero, Green. One. We had it minus one. You might have had it as a pick so you might have went 4-0 oh with our picks today. I'm going to start you off with Boston Phoenix going over the total. That was a winning wager. I'll go ahead and tell you a little bit about Arizona, Nebraska. Under the total, we took it. And then I'm going to say the, the close one for the day was Cincinnati minus one and a half against UConn. It looked like they were going to roll them the whole game, but, uh, you know, Vegas has a reason why they set those spreads and they win by two, but we had them at minus one and a half. Sometimes you need those close ones just to keep you real. Yeah, and just to keep it fun, too, give you a little bit of a sweat. Right. Anyways, 13, 6 and 1 on bowl games this year. We're going to roll you into tomorrow, the Armed Forces Bowl in Fort Worth, Texas. you got Houston playing against Air Force. It's a free pick winner. My boy Gabardi is going to tell you who and why we think is going to take this one. Actually, Joey, I'm going to give him four reasons. Case Keenum, Patrick Edwards, Tyrone Carrier, and the big boy James Cleveland. I like him. Case Keenum, 43 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. There's NFL quarterbacks that dream of that number. I mean, look at Jamarcus Russell. <laughs> what a joke he is. What a joke he is. Yeah. The, the highest paid player that sits on the bench every year. Correct me. I mean, I don't know. He Y'all wouldn't even know me if that was me. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Houston's got a huge, huge offense. They average almost 600 yards a game. It's like about 582. 581. Yeah, five, five, eight, low 580, somewhere around there. You got a. Uh, Let's see, Air Force's defense, um, uh, they're like ranked 43rd against the pass, 39th overall. That ain't really all that good against this high, high, high offense. Explosive. Explosive offense, y'all. It's, I mean, it's big. Spread. Houston's, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Air Force's offense, it's like 84th overall. It's just, it's not going to be able to hang. Now, I will say, Houston's D is not the best D, but you know, Y'all remember the Rams from, what, 02, 03? Isn't mm-hmm. that about the time? Right, right. 01, the, yeah. the greatest show on the freaking turf? Yeah, Houston's there, y'all. They may not have the best D, but no one keeps up with them on offense. It's just, just boom. So take Houston. Take yeah, Houston right. minus the points. And then you need to come see us about the Sun Bowl. We got Stanford in Oklahoma. We got a lock on that game. It's a premier play, and then you need to get with us about some NCAA basketball picks. I got my boy Mike Gabardi, Joey Cassano, the, the winningwages.com.